and when we talk about the easing of restriction, we should say that we are entering third phase That's of right. easing restriction. Mm. And as Kuntep Chai has introduced from the beginning, 14 group of business activities will be allowed to reopen again on the 1st of June. But starting so, with the curfew. Yeah. I mean, uh, as has been speculated the past one week, the curfew hours have been shortened by an hour. Yes. So from Monday on, the new curfew hours will be between 11 p.m. and 4, 3 a.m. the next morning. Yeah. It was 4 a.m. in the past a few weeks, but starting this Monday, it will end at 3 p.m. That will facilitate people who are so-called early birds, mm -hmm. <laughs> who have yeah. to rise and I mean, go out very early, meet people who sell products in markets and people who have to work morning shift, right? Yes. So they have to leave home very early. So the 3 a.m. is very appropriate time for these people to go back to their normal life again. Yeah, it's quite obvious in terms of easing of restriction on curfew, shortening the hours, but it doesn't extend from 11 to midnight because they have the point that they would like to prevent people from drinking outside and would like to stop those nighttime activities. That's mm. why curfew has still to remain at 11 o'clock but shorten to 3 a.m. in the morning. Mm. So let's take a look at the outline of the easing of restrictions. In addition to curfew hours shortening, it's opening hours of shopping malls extended to 9 p.m. Kuntep Chai. It's good news for shoppers who yeah. have one more hour to do your round of shopping. Yes. And certainly, it will certainly add some, some impetus to the economy. So starting Monday, you will have one more hour to do your shopping. Yes. And, and now let's take a look at business activities allowed to resume on the 1st of June. Convention and exhibition centers so that's good news for organizer of big seminar convention after having been to stop for about two months. And amulet markets and centers. This is quite interesting for Thai that's society. Right. You can tell I think for foreigners who are not familiar with uh, this so-called amulet markets and centers, yeah. uh, they could be surprised as to why this is, has been such a, sub a subject of debate for, for weeks now. In fact, the Emirate markets and centers uh, have been playing a very important role in the Thai unofficial, the unofficial economy, part of the economy. Because uh, Thais, many Thais anyway, I mean, they are lovers of amulets, uh, which can fetch very high prices in yes. trading in these places. So after these markets and centers have been suspended, the circulation of money certainly has been curtailed <laughs> yeah. to some extent because of the money doesn't change hand as much as it used to in, in these places. So starting Monday, you can see more a lot of uh, active scenes at the uh, markets and centers for amulets when uh, traders began uh, trading their valuable uh, pieces. Yes, but they are not allowed to be too close to one another and they have to wear face masks for the activity in the amulet markets. And the next group which will be relaxed is hairdresser and barbers to open for hair dyeing. That is quite crucial, especially for women who want to dye the hair because it will take quite long hours. And then good news for the visitors of beauty clinics and salons, and of course who, those who will uh, tattoo lovers. I mean, <laughs> you must be deprived yes. of your favorite pastime uh, for, for months now. So starting this Monday, you can go back to your favorite places for yeah. your beautification and tattooing. Yes, but for beauty clinics, exceptions still remain for facial services. Mm. And the next group, fitness centers, health massage parlors, will allowed, are allowed to be resumed again on Monday fitness center, health, massage parlors. And also stadiums, bowling and skating center for exercises and training are allowed to resume as well, including ballroom dancing, theater and cinema, limited to 200 people for session and zoos. 
So if you look at this uh, list of uh, businesses and activities, I think it's quite clear that uh, life is certainly going to return to normality uh, to a very, very large extent starting this Monday. So there are only a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, the, the boxing stadiums, I mean, yeah. uh, certainly will stay closed for, uh, for quite a, a while because of fears that it could be the sources, could be a source of uh, spreading of the virus. So boxing stadiums and even sport stadiums uh, with matches, uh, with uh, spectators, I mean, that's still mm -hmm. something that is uh, still off the table yeah. uh, for the moment anyway. And for cinema, seating arrangement will have to be reallocated in terms of people who come together for two. For two person, they can sit next to each other, but then they have to alternate three seats for the next guest in the cinema. That's to remain, to maintain social distancing. And then there's a question of the state of emergency. Uh, the government, as we all know, has been under a lot of pressure to lift the state of emergency which has been in effect for the past two months or so. In the debate in the House uh, of, of Representatives the past three days, I mean, this has been a major topic, the call for the government to consider lifting the state of emergency. So according to the Secretary General of the National Security Council, it's most likely that the state of emergency will be lifted at the end of June. So that means starting July the 1st, uh, the state of emergency will be gone. So today, the Prime Minister has assigned Deputy Prime Minister Mr. Nukleo Ngan to head a committee to study the possibility of using alternative legislative in the event that the state of emergency will be lifted. So that means that the government is prepared to end the state of emergency and is now in the process of studying other laws that could be introduced in its place. So this another piece of good news in the waiting anyway. Yeah, so that they would have to reconsider. And the government, especially Prime Minister, said that the state of emergency will be lifted after the end of the fourth phase of easing restriction. So it would be the last right. step of trying to make sure that all the measures have been in place to prevent or to curb the infection as much as possible.